In this video, we're going to be discussing how to create abstraction layers from a specific configuration. And we'll show how that helps scale the model to multiple different feature configurations. Our example here is going to be a bookshelf and putting books on the bookshelf and how you can add different books to different bookshelves. So we'll go ahead and create that now. We will first create a block called My Bookcase, which will be the current configuration, the most specific set, which will have a specific frame and specific books. We will then create an abstraction of this, which will be called My Bookcase Possible Configurations, and which we will specify how many books can fit on the bookcase. We will then create an even higher level of abstraction called Any Bookcase Configurations, which will be able to take in any sort of frame with any sort of books. We'll then create a generalization relationship from all of our specific books to the generic book block, and we can add a value property within the book block called author of type string, and we can leave it like that, and then we can inherit automatically through the generalization relationship that author value property, and then we can redefine it with the specific author of the specific book. Note, if you don't hit that redefine button properly, then you will accidentally add a default value to the generic book block instead of the specific book, as you saw with the JRR Tolkien author that was assigned to book incidentally. I'll do some model organization by creating a package called book library and putting all of my book blocks within that book library. I'll create a BDD to show the books and the generalization to the generic book block. I'll now go back and create specific bookcase frames that refer to the pictures that I put in there, such as the five-tiered wooden bookshelf and the three-tiered black bookshelf. Note that the my frame is talking about the two-tiered white bookshelf. I'm now going to create a, another package called bookcase frame library. This is going to house all the different frames that I've created. I will then create an abstract entities package and then I will change the property is abstract within Cameo set to true to make them italicized and show that they are abstract entities. I'm doing a lot of model reorganization so of creating a bunch of packages and nesting them appropriately this will allow for maximum scalability going forward. You'll notice that I'm separating my package structure by the level of abstraction in which they, the blocks live in and you'll see that I have a specific configurations folder, which we will start building out the most specific configurations. We'll now create a generalization relationship from the My Bookcase Possible Configurations block to the Any Bookcase Possible Configurations block, which will then inherit the part properties from Any Bookcase Possible Configurations block down to the My Bookcase Possible Configurations block, and then we'll go in and redefine the properties accordingly. To do this, we're going to select the part property on the specific classifier, which in this case is going to be the book uh, part property on the My Bookcase Possible Configurations block. We're then going to go into the redefined properties and redefine that part property to the book part property from the Any Bookcase Possible Configurations block, the more generic block, to connect the book part property from the specific My Bookcase Possible Configurations block to the book part property of the Any Bookcase Possible Configurations block. You'll see the redefines book and curly braces pop up on that part property when that linkage has been created. The linkage is essentially showing that the two part properties are one and the same on different levels of abstraction. Note that when you redefine a property, you need to ensure that you select the correct role. So for redefining the book, you're going to select the redefined property underneath role of book. When you're selecting the redefined property for my frame, you're going to use the redefined property under role of my frame. We will repeat this same redefinition process on the frame part property on the more specific My Bookcase Possible Configurations block. This one is a much better example because we are redefining bookcase frame, which could be any bookcase frame which exists in the world, down to My Frame, which is the specific two-tiered white frame that you see in the picture below. So we're going from generic to more specific. 
We can then look into the attributes of the My Bookcase possible configurations block, and we can see that our inherited values are not there, meaning they have been properly redefined. There's no duplicated part properties. Now we're going to move on and create a generalization relationship from the specific My Bookcase current configuration block to the My Bookcase possible configurations block. So we will be inheriting the My Frame and Book part properties from the generic to the specific. We'll then go into the specification window of the specific My Bookcase current configurations block and we will connect the Book 1, Book 2, Book 3, Book 4, Book 5 part properties. We will link that to the book block of the My Bookcase possible configurations, the part property underneath that. So same process as before, except we're at a more specific level of abstraction. We'll see the curly braces redefines book and redefines frame attached to the part properties. Let's note that we only have to do this tedious task of redefining properties when we're going from more abstract to more specific. When we have created this structure of abstraction levels and we want to create a new configuration later, which we will show, it's going to be much simpler. So now that we've got all this structure set up and all the abstraction layers, we can start to scale out our solution. So we can go into the book library and we can add more books with the generalization relationship. So this is how you would scale the books. And then we will go into the different configurations and we can add new configurations very quickly and we'll show that. So we created a My Bookcase current configuration 2 where we just took by copy and paste the current configuration and added several other books to the bookcase. So we added The Great Gatsby, Harry Potter, and Alice in Wonderland and then we did the redefines um, process to redefine the book from the higher level of abstraction. Now that we've created the specific configuration for the white two-tiered bookcase, we're going to go create the specific configuration of a black three-tiered bookcase. To do this, we need to create an abstraction layer of the black bookcase, and we'll call that black bookcase possible configurations, in which we'll say, in this case, that we have three part properties for each tier, essentially, where we can have zero to 20 books in each tier of the bookcase. Note that we could go ahead and create 60 different part properties, one for each book location if we wanted to. This is just a um, design decision that you need to, to make. Please note we have an entire video dedicated to determining the amount of part properties which make most design sense versus the just having a single part property with a multiplicity. So we'll add that to the link in the description below. So now we can go ahead and create John's bookcase configuration. John has a black bookcase and he has specific books that are on his bookcase. And so we'll create a generalization relationship from John's bookcase configuration block to the black bookcase possible configurations block. And then we will drag in our books and create part properties and then create the linkage between the books that we dragged in to the to redefine the part properties from the black bookcase possible configurations block. You may ask, why would I go ahead and create that second level of abstraction, the black bookcase possible configurations block? Why could I not just go from John's bookcase configuration all the way up to the generic any bookcase possible configurations block? And the answer is you could. There's no reason that you have to have that second level of abstraction. We're just showing that you can have multiple levels of abstraction and how to model that. Note that John's bookcase configuration doesn't have any books in the tier 3 shelf. So we can actually go back and redefine the multiplicity of books within the tier 3 book part property as 0, showing that it's not there. We hope that this video highlights and makes clear how important these abstraction layers can be when you're trying to scale a model or make a product line for a system. This will allow you to make one-off configurations quickly and efficiently.